I've been lost forever. This is my den, my family, Goldie is my daughter, she's nine years old, Trevor, he's a newborn pup, and Charlie, well, he's my mate. Now over here, we have our dishes. I had to make them out of rock because we're away from the pack and we don't have anything to use. Really all we use this for is warm water. Warm water is very healing and it's the only liquid that we can always find. We've been away from the pack for six years now. Yeah, Trevor was born on the way. It's been a rough time, and I really hope we're close to the pack. We've been searching for way too long now. So, yeah. Hi, Cassidy. Hello, Charlie. How are things with Trevor? They're good. He's doing better. That's really good to hear. At least there's one plate of good news on the pile. Actually, there's two good news on the pile. What do you mean? What happened? Well, when Goldie and I were out for a daily hunt, we saw another animal. And we think... We think it's Tiger. You really think it's Tiger? You know, seriously? Oh my goodness. That's... Amazing news, not good. That's amazing, Charlie. When did you see her? Around dawn. That's usually when Goldie and I go out for a daily hunt. So, we're gonna try again tonight. And, you know, see if she shows up. I really hope that they're searching for us, too. I mean, we are part of the pack, after all. Yeah, we are. We need to get the little ones to bed. Besides, we need to go on our daily hunt. Goldie, can you feed Trevor real quick? Yes, Mommy, of course. Thank you, sweetheart. Come on, Charlie, let's go. Here, Trevor, drink up. It's warm water. It's really, really good. We're going to be drinking it for pretty much the rest of our lives. Well, except for Mommy's milk. You'll be getting that a lot, too, mainly because you're a newborn baby. Trevor, what's wrong? Oh, great. He can't answer me. He's just a baby. What am I supposed to do? Mom didn't tell me anything like this is going to happen. Do you see any prey up there, Cassidy? No. Not from what I can see, anyways. Maybe you should get a little bit higher. Then you'll have an even larger range. Okay, I will. Can you see anything now? Oh, wow. Yeah, I see a squirrel, a rabbit, and even a skunk. We'll have a good prey tonight, Charlie. Awesome. Well, come on and get down from there so we can go catch them. Okay. I'm in trouble. <gasps> Cassidy! Cassidy, stick with me, please. Don't go. Are you okay? What happened? I don't know. I tripped over something. My back hurts. Can you look at it, please? Of course. You'll have to roll over, though. Are you in too much pain to do that? No. I can do that. Ow. Ow. Cassidy. 
Oh my goodness, this is really, really bad. <gasps> That's Daddy's howl. Trevor, you hear that? When you hear that, that means Daddy and or Mommy are in trouble. We gotta get going. Come on. Fine. Have it your way, Trevor. Oh, oh my goodness. Are way too heavy. Don't worry, Cassie. Goldie and Trevor will be here soon with help. I know it. Goldie knows my help howl, I guess I would call it. I'm not worried, Charlie. I believe in my family, and I trust every single one of you. I love you. No, Cassidy, do not act like this is going to be the end, okay? We will see each other again. You'll be fine tomorrow, I know it. You'll be able to hunt again, and we'll be able to get all of the perp we want. Okay? Okay? Okay, Charlie. Okay. I'm really glad we found this den, Tiger. Good tracking skills. Yeah, I'm glad too. We made it right before the storm kicked in. I still can't believe this den had windows. I mean, I've never seen a den like this before. Yeah, neither have I, but we'll have to make do for now. Do you think we'll ever find Cassidy and her family? I believe we can if we always have faith, okay? Okay, I trust you, so I have faith that we'll find them. Okay, but for now, we need to get some rest. I don't know if I'll be able to or not because it's storming, and I've never been able to sleep when it's storming, but we can try. We've had a long day, and we'll have another long day ahead of us. Okay, I'm fine with resting. Storming really bad out there. Really hope that they found shelter as well. So, do you think Cassidy will be okay? Huh? Oh, hi Charlie. Yeah, I think she'll be just fine. She just needs plenty of rest. Okay. Thanks again for helping her. I'm sorry we don't have anything to repay you. It's fine. I don't need money or whatever you guys call it back in your pack. I just do it to help people. Okay. Thanks once again, especially through the storm. It's really crazy out there. Yes, we must be careful. Why must we be careful? Because there is a flood warning, and I think it is going to happen. Okay, I understand. I think I'm going to go get some rest, along with the rest of my family. I'm pretty worn out from everything that happened today. Okay, just let me know if you have any more questions. Have a good night's rest. Yeah, thanks. Daddy, what's for dinner tonight? Ugh, can you just shut up for one day, Duke? You are getting on my last nerves. Do you want another beatdown? Huh? No, Daddy, I don't. I'm sorry for getting on your nerves. Pug, stop talking. Go way out on the rain. Now. I don't even care if you get struck by a lightning bolt. I believe you're my son. Okay. <laughs> Beethoven, you didn't have to be mean to Duke. He did nothing wrong. Lily, I can give you your first beat down now. Would you like that? No, Beethoven, but listen, listen to the thunder. He's gonna get hurt. You really want your son to get hurt? 
over some stupid annoyance? Enough talk about this. We're going to bed at once. And if I hear you say any more about Duke, you're dead meat. Got it? Is Beethoven? Daddy, is mommy gonna be okay? Yes, Goldie, she'll be just fine. I talked to the doctor last night. The doctor? Oh, you mean Dr. Maggie? That's correct. The pink and white cat. Okay, then I'm not worried. But what about Trevor? What about him? Well, haven't you heard his constant whines and moans? Oh, that's because he misses the feeding of his mother's milk. Oh, that's why I couldn't do anything for him. <laughs> You're right about that.